Building Center starting gate for tonight's 10th race. And now I'm going to send it upstairs to my colleague. He can do it all. He wears many hats. Driver, trainer, race analyst, and race caller. Rocky, take it away. Thanks, Kurt. They're lining up behind the starting gate for tonight's 10th race. The final division of the Atlantic Sire Stakes. It's an A division. Rock and Roll K's on the rail. Two is our girl Annie. Woodmere Macarena from three. Four is Too Much For You. Five is Southfield Star. Six is Rosetown Mary. Seven on the outside is Entitled Express. Here they come. They're off and pacing our girl Annie. First one for the lead as they race into the first turn. Too much for you up on the outside. At the rail is Rock and Roll Case as they battle for the lead into the first turn. And our girl Annie is the leader in between horses as they race around the turn. That is too much for you. Three wide up on the outside is Entitled Express as they move to the opening quarter. Back there racing in fourth. That is Rock and Roll Case coming out of fifth. That is. Paul Langell with Woodmere Macarena. Back there in six, that is Southfield Star. And your early trailer in the early going, passing by the opening quarter. They were there in 29 and three. Moving into the three-eighths turn for the first time. Entitled Express has taken over the lead. In line to Mark Campbell. Our girl Annie going along second. Moves back to the outside as they come down the stretch in front of us for the first time. Our girl Annie up on the outside and takes over the lead at the half. Entitled Express at the rail now, Second, moving off the cones in third. That is too much for you. Rock and Roll K's will follow out in fourth. At the rail in fifth is Woodmere Macarena. Up and at the rail in sixth is Rosetown Mary. And your trailer is Southfield Star. 58 and two by the half. They roll on by the five eights and they'll go to the back stretch. Second and final time. Our girl Annie is your leader. At the rail in second is Entitled Express. Three wide on the outside. There goes Rock and Roll K's. As they pass on by the three-quarter mile mark, our girl Annie, your leader, up on the outside, rock and roll case. Too much for you in their third. Up on the outside, here comes Rosetown Mary in fourth. One, 28 and one by the three quarters. They swing off the turn for home. Our girl Annie, here comes rock and roll case up on the outside. They're battling it out right down to the wire. It's going to be our girl Annie to win it. Rock and roll case in there for second too much for you will be three time for the mile 157 and one Fantastic race call by our colleague Rocky Screwman here in race 10. And what a performance from our girl Annie and Mark Braley. They go right down the road, Ken. Yeah, daughter of Arthur Blue Chip right to the top. Retakes the lead after a hard-used seven entitled Express settles in second. Uh, we've got Rock and Roll Case who rallies three deep uh, from a tough spot and is uh, going to get a brief brave enough tuck and then take a late shot at our girl Annie who digs in with a final quarter of 29 seconds flat, 157 and three to remain picture perfect. Three for three for Mark Bradley and Eddie Doucette. Our girl Annie Rock and Roll Case second too much for you third in the 10th.
And moving back to the winner's circle is your winner of tonight's 10th race, Atlantic Sire Stakes, two-year-old fillies in the A division. That is number two, our girl Annie. Facing two-year-old filly by Arthur Blue Tip from the No Plan Intended Dam, Winsun Kenda. Owned by Blaine and Jessica and Jennifer Tebow of Kensington, Eddie Doucette, the trainer, Mark Bradley in the driver's seat for the win. She's never been better than she was here tonight at Charlottetown. A new race win record, 157 and one for number two, our girl Annie. Now at trackside, the Atlantic Sire Stakes, cooler presentation. <laughs> 